Okay everyone, today I have for you the unboxing of the PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm so excited for this because I have a 4K TV. I needed to get a 4K console. So, I'll never guess where I got this one though. Oh, okay. Alright, let's That's a little heavy, but it's not it feels about the same weight as the original PlayStation 4 box in the box. So it's PlayStation 4 Pro. Ooh, pretty. Okay, and here's what it looks like on the back. I love how it's kept the simple design from the PlayStation 4 box, the original one, the packaging. Oh. Like what it says right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. And it says PlayStation, PlayStation 4 Pro Enhanced. I guess maybe one time it was going to be called PS4 E. <laughs> PlayStation Enhanced. Okay, let's get this open. The cats are waiting, and I've been waiting all day. So yeah, actually, actually I got this last night, but I had to wait till better lighting to open this. So, oh wow. So inside the box we have another box. It looks like this was just plain white. <sighs> Nothing in here. It's just a box in the box. No big. Oh wow, this is actually really nice. Um, I love the very simple aesthetics of it. I think we need proofs. We think we need I should pull your butt through. Yep, yeah, seems to like it. Yeah, I kind of wish it just came like this. It's very simple, very elegant, very apple, very square like. So I'm just pop it on this office open. Careful. Oh, wow. Uh, looks like we have a quick start gun. I like how, I don't know if you guys can see it. How well that is placed in there. So I'm going to put, there, put that in there with a lot of care. Up. Oh, I like how it says up. So I guess, so I guess we'll start with this. Or which one do you want me to do first, baby? Look at the accessories. Oh. Okay. Here we have the power cord. Wow, is this like a three prong? Oh no, it's here. It only has like two, um, two prongs. That's pretty hefty. This reminds me like, of like the Xbox 360, maybe the Xbox One power cord that plugs into the power brick. I'll have to check that out in a little bit. Uh, the HDMI 2.0 or 2.2 cable, which I forget what it is. What's this? I think it's the stock yep, controller. DualShock 4, or DualShock 4.5. Um, micro USB cable. And the com. That's it. Check out some of that. It's still blue like the original. Like, on the highlights like on the original PlayStation 4. <laughs> Got the power cable from my old Xbox 360. Yeah, they, it's the exact same thing. That's really interesting. Um, this brings, like, this reminds me back of the old days, the original versions. All of them. The original PS3s, uh, all the different variations of it, the before the slim. And it used to have um, basically a PC power cable. Oh, and I loved how that cable was very long. I was saying, six to eight feet off of the checks I have. I still have mine. So I hope Sony did that again. I don't think, nope. It's about five feet. So, yeah, so much for that. <laughs> but yeah, I like how it's, a, it's heftier and more sturdy. It's a nice, good feel to it. I guess it's because um, there's, by the PS4 has more power. It has more power requirements. So this is, this is going to be nice. You're loving this, huh? Let's get to the final piece. 
here we have the PlayStation. Can you hear me on the PlayStation 4 Pro? Oh. First thing you can see is the PS, the PlayStation logo right there. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Oh, look at that. It has a PlayStation logo on the back too, that's cool. And like how they use the, the buttons, the button the logo for the buttons as like feet. So this three tier look, I kind of wish. I kept this like a two tier, kind of like the PlayStation or slim, just like maybe a little bit beefier. I don't think Sony had to make it this large. But, ah, uh, it's just comparison to sizes. So here's the original launch day PS4. Oh, is this one actually heavier? As I move your tail, so I don't want to drop the PS4 on it. Oh. Yes, you love your tail. Oh my gosh, this one actually feels heavier. Maybe like a pound or two more? This one's actually lighter, but um, I don't like how big it is. Um, see, it's actually it's slightly larger. I don't know if you guys can see Let me do it this way, so. That's with them flush, like so. All this space right here, that, that's how much larger and how much taller it is. I uh, really th think in 2016, uh, so you could actually make this smaller, not that much than this one. And oh my gosh, it's so much wider too. Let's see. Look at that. It's not much of a difference. PS3 Slim, how it was unusually long. <laughs> it was much longer than the original PlayStation. That's what it kind of reminds me of. I love the look how the, the glossy black has been replaced with this matte look. It looks nice, but it, it got fingerprints and scratches so easily. And this would like, be a lot easier to, to clean. The other thing I don't like is that I hate having two of these now on the top and two of them on the bottom. It's the four cats and very dry skin and eczema. Um, a lot of dust gets in here. And it's really hard to clean this as it is because my fingers, well, they fit themselves, but when I use a cleaning cloth, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit. This is surprisingly clean. I haven't been used in months. Um, yeah, it's like, it, this is, the fingers don't even fit in here anymore. And then you can see dust already accumulating in there. And like, well, when I roll up a cleaning cloth and stick it in there, it doesn't just have, a, it doesn't have the force like my fingers do. So I kind of wish somebody did not do this. <laughs> see this stack up. Here's the original PS4. Sorry, Jeeves. Um, and the PS4 Pro. Okay, let's compare the controllers, guys. Here is the original DualShock 4 controller for the original PlayStation. And here is the DualShock 4.5, or the new DualShock 4 for the PlayStation 4 Pro. And it's interesting, it feels a little heavier. Hmm, hopefully it's a, because it has a larger battery. Because, um, you know, these don't last as long as you, the DualShock 3, which like lasted me about a day, a day and a half. Um, these ones only last like a few hours. I always have to switch them out during a, a session of gaming. Yes, you like it. And in case you're wondering, these are decals. This is the original black launch day PS4. I just put uh, white stickers on it. So here we have the power cord input, uh, which is very similar to PC cord input, so it's listed with a third prong. We have the HDMI port, the proprietary USB port for the PlayStation camera, uh, the optical audio, the USB, which at least for the PlayStation VR, and an Ethernet port, and of course the hard drive. This is the one terabyte model, uh, but I am going to upgrade it to two terabytes immediately. The optical audio out, which I don't know anybody still uses this, because now we have HDMI audio. I never did, and I can't think of anybody I know that actually still uses this. So I don't know if I still included it here and removed it on the PS4 Slim. Just removed it all together. We just don't need it anymore.
Another thing I don't like about this design is the light bar. I don't know if you can see it, but it starts right here and it ends right here to make room for USB ports. I kind of wish that somebody either put it like right here on top of the Blu-ray drive and went from one end to the other, or even better, it would have been nice if it was like right here or maybe right down the middle like it used to be. Um, maybe like put it into the PlayStation logo, like we could do all the color changes that the light bar used to do on the previous PlayStation because um, it's going to be set up like this and my desk is going to be that way so I'm not sure if I'll be able to see the light bar at all from where I'm sitting. I think the best place to put it would have been right here in the corner so people who have it standing vertically can see it from any direction and if you have it horizontally you can still sit facing towards you. I think that would have been the best place to put it. But other than that, um, the grooves, love the design. I'm still shocked that it's lighter than the original PlayStation 4. I wasn't expecting that. Up here it says HDMI, DTS, HD, Master Audio 7.1, Dolby, True HD, and Blu-ray disc. Here's a nice little detail on the bottom. The PlayStation logo buttons are right here, and as you notice, the circle has been used for the mount. That's like, I think that's really cool, and this is like course for the stand. Okay guys, so here's everything it comes with. Here is the outer box, the beautiful light inner box, the PS4 Pro unit, the DualShock 4.5, or the new DualShock 4. We have the new beefier power cable, micro USB cable, and the comm headset. And Phoebe's not included. And that's it. Hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It helps Phoebe get her cats and eye out a lot when you do. I think she knows this for her. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Say goodbye, Phoebes. You're so cute and adorable. Yes. Love you too. <laughs> Bye, guys. Really? There's, there's no stand again. Really, Sammy? You can put it with the white one and the 20th anniversary edition PlayStation 4. I've got so much camper on it already. Where are you going? Uh, yeah, I <laughs> Seems like I only buy stuff from Best Buy from Apple. Internet outages. Twenty four minutes. Here is the Pro Shop four point five for the PlayStation Four Scorpio. Just down. Okay. Yeah, it's not called the Apple Store anymore. That's just Apple. And then you insert the name of the location, like Apple on Fifth Avenue. That's strange. It's a slightly heavier. It's not only sense but perfectly fine by itself.
it's been like that for like two or three months now. Here's a new shot for five for the new X for the new uh, PlayStation. Why do you keep saying Xbox?